Amen. 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 I'd like you to open your mouth and sing this song loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. And as many people as are here today to encounter the great physician, let them sing with their hearts. Let them sing loud and clear. You had a half fun. And Loud and clear, Again, louder than before.
Many of you as I gathered there for this particular edition of prayer reign, I want you to understand that the power of God is here to break yokes, to release from bondages, and to bring uncommon testimonies. So right there where you are, the first thing I'd like you to do now right there where you are is to begin to thank the Lord for what you know you are going to receive here today. Thank him in faith. Thank him in faith. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the one who is greater than the greatest and higher than the highest. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Silence now, beloved. I is a woman in this meeting. I don't know how you got there this morning because you have been completely shared out by witchcraft powers. Shared off every part of your body. But something is happening to you right there where you are. The angels of recovery, they have surrounded you. And right now, your strength that is failing is coming back. That's the power of God coming upon that woman over there. I want to pray for somebody over there. These 17 powers that have gathered to steal from you, and have been stealing from you since you were a little girl, right there where you are, let the power of God fall upon you and repossess your possession. In the name of Jesus. In the name which is above all names. Jesus Christ. Repossess your possession now. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Yes, enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. Now, it's a prayer. I want you to pray before you sit down. This prayer has disgraced the enemy over and over again in many places. Just ensure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. And pray with merciless violence. Say this after me the way I'm going to shout my own. Yoke breaker! Jesus Christ! Break my yoke now! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare, Yoke breaker! Jesus Christ! Break my yoke now! Break it! Break it! Break it! Break it! Break it! Jesus name we pray we are coming back to that prayer we are coming back to that prayer if you are that person here a native doctor asks you to sleep inside a coffin run quickly to the altar and be on your knees here because since you did that thing your life has never remained the same find your way quickly to the altar and be on your knees native doctor asks you to sleep inside a coffin and you did come to the altar very quickly and be on your knees there. The hand of God will fall upon you. And this yoke will be broken from your life completely. Yoke broken! Jesus Christ! Break my yoke now! In the name of Jesus! Let the yoke be broken. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar here, shake your head vigorously. Shake it vigorously. That's right. Every plantation upon your destiny, from the past of the grave, 
Shake them off. Shake it off. Don't be tired. That's right. Be released. Be loosed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, let every agenda of darkness for this your children be cancelled. Let every consequence of any evil activity be completely wiped away. Receive the touch of the Almighty upon your life. Let the yoke of the coughing spirit be broken to pieces. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. A yoke has been broken in your life today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, so every power got that to mock me. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout? Scatter in the name of Jesus. Speak against the power God out to mock you. The power of God move upon your people here today. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a wonderful time before you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, lay your hands upon everyone gathered here today. And open our understanding mightily. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. God bless you. The book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 12. I'm reading verse 11. And we're looking very briefly at fighting by the blood of Jesus. Fighting by the blood of Jesus. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Waiting for you to get there. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Are we there? Okay. Let's read it together. Let's go. Can I hear the sisters alone reading? Let's hear the brothers read. Everybody together now. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Can you say that loud and clear? Who did they overcome? The devil. And by which instrument did they overcome the devil? By the blood of the Lamb. That short statement is seriously pregnant. Number one, there is an enemy. Number two, you have to fight that enemy. Number three, you need some weapons to fight the enemy. Number four, one weapon the enemy cannot withstand is the blood of the Lamb. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto death. Listen very carefully. One weapon the Lord has given to us in our warfare and the warfare in which we find ourselves is the blood of Jesus. War is not a good thing. War is not a friendly affair. War is not what most people plan for. In fact, most people will have settled for a life of peace
peace, just peace, rest, no problem, just live your life, enjoy. But life does not run like that. It doesn't run like that at all. Sometimes when there is no war, there is no peace. But when, you are being, when your destiny, everything about you is being challenged, and you come and give them a raw fight, and you knock them down, or you injure, or you wound them, next time when they say go and attack so so and so they say no we can't go there the last time we went we had casualty we're not going you can see that the war you fought now has brought you peace there are so many people looking for peace not knowing that what they should seek is to fight this is a very serious matter beloved I remember a time I was supposed to speak in a place they said the topic was born to win and I said, well, it's good to be born to win, but born to win means born to fight. There is no man who wins without fighting. And there is no one who has honorary victory from the enemy. The enemy of our soul does not go on sabbatical, it does not go on sick leave. We sleep, they don't sleep. But our comfort is that there is somebody who neither slumbers nor sleep. That one is our Lord the price that the son of God paid for the salvation of our lives is the shedding of his precious blood. He shed his precious blood. And seven good times, seven good times during the life of Jesus he shed his blood. Seven is a sign of perfection. Therefore when you key it into the power in that blood and you merge it with your prayers, the prayers become fire. I see somebody here today. The first prayer you are going to pray by the blood of Jesus will capture for you every blessing you have lost in your life. Let your amen roar like thunder. Number one, Jesus shed his blood at the garden of Gethsemane when he prayed in agony. He sweated blood. You know, some people to, somebody to pray and sweat blood. Number two, when the high priest struck him in the face with rod, he shed his blood. Number three, when they began to pull out his beard, he shed his blood. Number four, when the Roman soldiers began to whip him with their whip that has sharp iron embedded inside, they have sharp iron and bones embedded inside their whip. And as they were striking him and they were pulling it, he was tearing his flesh. He shed his blood at that level too. Number five, they now put a crown of thorns upon his head and placed it upon his head so his head too was shedding blood. Number six, he was now nailed to the cross. Nailed in the two hands, nailed in the leg. Number seven, when he was now dead, a soldier thrust a spear into his side. And the Bible says, blood and water gushed out. Blood and water gushed out. Which was the price he paid for our perfect salvation. Body, soul, spirit, prosperity, everything finished. Immediately he said, it is finished on that cross. It was finished. There is power in that blood. Even human beings who are children of the devil, they engage in one form of sacrifice of animals or the other in order to use the power generated by the blood. One of the most lamentable tragedy of our nation is that there is still human sacrifices going on. Still human sacrifices going on. Please, I knew that when I was a small boy, there was a day my mommy was going to the market in the morning, 5 a.m. She didn't know that the, the ritual killers were around. They captured her. And they were going to slaughter her. But did somebody look closely at her face and saw the mark she carried? I said, no, the, the, the people from this place, we don't sacrifice them. That is how God delivered her. Even in the nation, they still do it. Because they know blood. When blood is shed, it generates power. The fact that all tribes engage in one form of blood covenant or the other shows that there is power generated by blood. But the blood of Jesus is different from all this blood. Different from any blood of animal, any blood of goats. 
which they were using in the Old Testament. When it came for God to release the children of Israel from the land of Egypt, after all the attack Pharaoh was getting, Pharaoh was still stubborn. But by the time the blood moved in, that was the end. It broke the backbone of Pharaoh. By the time the Lord said, take a lamb, kill the lamb, apply the blood on your doorpost. He said, when that angel of death sees the blood, it will pass over you. By the time that blood was applied, that was the end of the Pharaoh battle. I prophesy upon somebody here today, and if that person can allow his own amen to roar like thunder, he will see the greatness of the power of God. I prophesy upon that person that the Pharaoh, Pharaoh that is totally pursuing you by the power in the blood of Jesus shall release you now. Let your amen roar like thunder. By the time the Israelites applied the blood, it took away all the fear of the destroying angel. Notice, it was not just a mere interest in the blood that saved them. It was not just believing in his power that saved them. It is not just appreciating the fact that it works that saved them. It was the blood applied. It was applied. So you need to apply that blood of Jesus for it to work for you. The blood of Jesus is a primary weapon for the final hour of this age. Final hour of this age. And that's why our ancient fathers in the faith, they sang more about the blood than we do. And that can explain our powerlessness sometimes. We sing plenty of songs now, but most of them are very weak songs. Those ancient fathers don't sing too many songs, but the few they sing, they are not kind to the enemy at all, and they are effective. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of That simple song, simple song, when you close your eyes, and you begin to focus on Jesus on the cross, and you begin to sing that song, and you focus on it, and you are singing it, by the time you sing it aggressively for 10 minutes, something will happen to you. Something will happen. Those are the songs that we've inherited, but one way or the other, nobody wants to sing them again. They don't want to sing those songs anymore. There is power mighty in that blood. There is power. Those are the songs we inherited. Those are the songs we inherited. But little by little, they're going out. Nobody wants to sing them again. And as we stop singing them, makes the enemy happy. Makes the enemy happy. One day, one beautiful woman came to greet me. Very nice woman. Dressed like a super banker. The ringtone on my phone, ringtone on my phone, uh, is, is singing, there is power, power, wonder working power, in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power, in the precious blood of the land. This is a woman who was sitting there just now, looking normal. Immediately that phone began to ring and sing that song. Her face changed. They switch off that thing. Switch it off. I said, switch it off. Ah. What is this now? Before I could say, Jesus is Lord. She had removed her skirt suit. I was using it to beat my phone like this. God will help us. Amen. It is not all that guilt us that is gold. Handsome man, beautiful woman, loaded with demons, and then speaking English, beautiful English, tall, slim, fast car. He said, yes, that's the kind of man I want. That's the man of my dream. The woman of my dream. Yeah. By the time the man will finish with you, with all the demons packed in his hands on body, I know where you are going. The blood of Jesus has the power. So that's our own ancient phrase. Those are part of the powers they use, which we drop. We drop all those ones. Now, by yeti, by yeti, go see. Bayeti. 
My eighteen could see tea. We sing that one. No power. God will help all of us. I told you the story of that young girl the other time. Tiny little girl. The only song she says, Tell this power, tell this power, tell this power in the blood of Jesus. He couldn't even sing it properly. He was just too young. One day, the mother washed her underwear and put it where she was drying it. Wind blew the pant into the house of a native doctor. And the man got into trouble. Everything he was doing was not working again. Every uh, medicine in his shrine was turning upside down. Quickly, he consulted his oracle. The oracle said, is that, is that piece of cloth there that is causing the trouble? He poured palm oil. He made incantation. He did all kinds of things. He was so afraid, he could not move close to it. But the little girl came looking for her pants. By the time she would look, she found it had entered into the house of the man. The little girl just ran inside and took the thing and walked out. The native doctor could not believe it. Simply because she sang, she was singing. That song was her national anthem. One very powerful prayer point, really noticed prayer point, is this: In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? <laughs> is that how you are going to pray here today? <laughs> Say it again loud and clear. That simple prayer you have prayed now is very powerful. It sends evil forces, evil, evil forces flushing away from a location. Whether you are praying on animate object, inanimate object, it is very effective. Another powerful prayer that you can pray that is equally very effective. Is that in the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus over my house, over my business, over my children, over my body. Very powerful prayer indeed. Another powerful prayer. That in the name of Jesus, I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? Let your voice roar like thunder. When you pray that prayer, you receive instant covering and protection. You want to spiritually seal up your house so that demons cannot enter. In the name of Jesus, apply the blood of Jesus over this house. The blood of Jesus availed for all things. It is our protection against everything if we cry for it and trust in it. I remember the case of that brother. He was chased by a madman. He ran. But when he looked back, he found that the legs of the madman was faster than his own. And he found that if that man catch, catches up with him, he would be in trouble. So as he was running, the small one, he could run. Because he was a very fat man. He said, I plead the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And as he was saying it, the madman got attracted to something else. And that was how he was able to escape. When you begin to pray the blood of Jesus, things begin to happen. Beloved, we really do not know the value and power that Jesus gave us when he gave us his blood. When he gave us his blood. When you pray much using the blood, the blood will do much for you. When you see somebody praying, I draw the circle of the blood of Jesus around me. Those are those who understand warfare. I draw the bloodline of protection around my property, around my house. Those are the those who understand the prayer. Whatever you do, it becomes a no-go area. The destroyer cannot cross the bloodline. The blood is the edge that stops the destroyer. That is one expression we make so much in the church. Many people don't understand the expression. When we say, I plead the blood of Jesus. The expression, plead the blood of Jesus, has nothing to do with begging. Something is begging, begging. No, it's not. It has nothing to do with mechanical repetition of empty words. The word translated plead in Hebrew means to strive, to contend, to conduct a legal case, to have controversy together. So, 
because the universe is a big courtroom. God the Father is the judge of all. Jesus Christ is the advocate. There is the Holy Spirit that pleads on behalf of another. Satan is the prosecutor, is the accuser. We are redeemed by the blood. So that blood comes as a witness. Satan has no answer to the blood of Jesus. He has no weapon to withstand the devastating effect of the, of the blood of Jesus. So that's why I plead the blood of Jesus. It's not I'm begging that the blood of Jesus shall not cover me. I'm, I'm fighting with the blood of Jesus. That's what it is saying. When I say, sorry, Satan, you cannot put that sickness on me. I plead the blood of Jesus. And that will end the battle. The enemy will flee and release you. You can also say, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. When you begin to sprinkle it anywhere, that's evidence that you are putting pressure back on the enemy. Then, finally, because of our time, the blood of Jesus has a voice. A voice that can speak. That voice can speak against infirmity, can speak against your enemy, can speak against everything contending with your life. The blood of Jesus. The warfare we need to wage here today, we need to wage it by the blood. But then, who are those who can plead the blood of Jesus? And it will work for them. If we go to Psalm number 50, Psalm number 50, I read from verse 15. Psalm number 50, verse 15. It says this, And call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked, God saith, what hast thou to do to declare my status? That thou shouldest take my covenant in their mouth, saying that thou hatest instruction, and casted my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, thou, thou, thou contested with him, and as thou hast been a partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue from a deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done. And I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. But I will reprove thee. And set them in order before thine eyes. There are some people who cannot plead the blood of Jesus. They can It will not work. So the, those people are people who are not born again. They have not surrendered their, their lives to Jesus. So if you are like that here this morning, you need to surrender your life to Jesus so that that blood can work for you. He now goes on to make a list of the people who should not be calling the name of the Lord in their mouth at all. Verse 16. Say, but unto the wicked, God said, what has that to do to declare my status? But thou should take my name in your mouth. Say, number one, you hate instruction. You don't like anybody to correct you. Two, you cast the words of God behind you. You disobey God. Three, you are supporting thieves. You know something is wrong, you are backing it up. Four, you are living in adultery and fornication. The mouth of adultery, the mouth you are using to kiss an evil man, an evil woman, you are using it to shout the blood of Jesus, it won't work. Then, fifth, give your mouth to evil and your tongue from a deceit. And you slander, you gossip. When your mouth is sick, calling the blood of Jesus will be a big problem. So the first thing we need to do here today is to confess our sins to the Lord. Before we now begin to pray this blood of Jesus prayers, which are the most effective prayers on earth. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Run quickly to the altar here now. We have very few minutes to pray. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? Run, run very quickly to the altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here so that you too can be a partaker of the blessings of this day. By the way, very quickly, Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Find a way to the altar.
Sophia at the front, I congratulate you. Just bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Uphold them by your power. Amen. Write their names in the book of life. Amen. Move them forward in a new way. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those of you at the front, open your eyes, look at us here. You've taken the most important decision in life and I congratulate you. You see that pastor over there? Just follow that pastor for one or two minutes. You can come and join us later. God bless you. The rest of us, bow down your heads where you are and ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will not make the blood of Jesus work for you here this morning. Ask him to forgive you. Jesus is here. His power is here. There is none like unto him. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the one who can forgive iniquity. There are prayers to pray, but you need to ask him to forgive you of all your iniquities. Amen. Now violently, more violent than anyone around you. The more violent you are, the better. I want you to sing these three songs violently from your heart, from your spirit, aggressively. And if I don't stop you, don't stop. Focus on any challenge you have in your life and continue singing. Continue singing until I stop you. Continue singing until I stop you. Focus on any challenge that the enemy will bring in your way. Let your voice draw like thunder as you sing the song. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. There is power. 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 Power.
The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers it. The blood of Jesus, the blood that blood of Jesus, the blood that The blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers The blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of the blood of Jesus, 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 Blood of Jesus, the blood has conquered. Blood of Jesus, the blood has conquered. The blood of Jesus, the blood has conquered. Blood of Jesus, the blood has conquered. The blood has conquered. Power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, 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 in the blood of the Lamb. In the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. That is power, that is power. Power in the blood of the Lord is power. Power in the blood of the precious blood. Thank you, Jesus. If you have any sickness on your body, this is the time to lay your hands upon it. Father, by the power in the blood of Jesus. By your sevenfold shedding of your blood, you the spirit of infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. That place you are is not your habitation. For death and hell are cast into the lake of fire. Jesus has defeated principalities and power on the cross of Calvary. I bind every spirit of infirmity. And I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. infirmity in the head. The one in the womb. The one underneath the armpit. The one in the chest. The one in the neck. The one in the leg. Hear the word of the Lord. I bind you and I cast you out. Every curse of infirmity be broken in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. 
receive it 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 in the name of jesus let that be silence now please check your body now begin to do what you're not able to do before check it very very well do whatever you cannot do if you cannot see begin to see if you cannot hear begin to hear cannot use any part of your body begin to use it if you cannot breathe properly begin to breathe properly if you have any swelling in your body check it up it has vanished if the enemy has removed anything from you check it up now it's back now check it very well check it very very well yes immediately you check your body listen very carefully immediately you check your body and you find that you have been healed quickly run to the altar here don't let the enemy put it back on you. Don't let the enemy put it back. I didn't say you should come out if you want prayer. No, 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 no. You have checked your body very well. You notice you brought a condition which has vanished. Find a way to the altar very quickly. Very, very quickly. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. By the blood of Jesus. Can I hear you roaring like thunder? I pursue my pursuers in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pursue them. Aha, aha, aha. Today is today. Bakapola Kayabo Shentelaba. Aha. By the blood of Jesus, I speak destruction unto every evil growth. By the blood of Jesus, I speak disappearance unto every infirmity. By the blood of Jesus, I speak peace into every part of the body. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Huh? There are some people here. Sometimes you notice unusual flies around you. These unusual flies, they are signs of poverty. But as you cry on the blood of Jesus here today, that poverty sign has been cancelled forever. That cobweb spirit that has been troubling you has been cancelled by the blood of Jesus. As many people as want breakthroughs this week, 10 days they want to give breakthrough testimonies. Let their voice roar like thunder like this. By the blood of Jesus, let my way open. Open your mouth and pray like that. Oh, yes. Every power closing your way. Let the blood of Jesus sweep them away. 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 Makatera bokoya bo shendera boraba. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I have some sisters here. The enemy has been closing the gate of childbearing against you. Let some sister lay their hands on their womb barrier now. At the count of seven, there will be a volcanic eruption in that womb area. And the evil hand laid on your womb will have vanished forever. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's number seven. That's why let the power of God coming upon you. And that yoke is broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken.
Say, by the blood of Jesus. Every power fighting my prosperity. Duh! Open your mouth and declare it. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I someone in this meeting now. A contract is coming your way that will disgrace your past poverty. I somebody in this meeting now. By the time you get home from this prayer, jobs are waiting for you. That will change your life forever. That brother over there whose life has been padlocked inside the family compound. The power of God is coming upon you. And the padlock is broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Aha. I cancel every evil noise the enemy is bringing to your life. I cancel it now. By the power and the blood of Jesus. Father, we cover these testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Affliction will never rise again. In the name of Jesus. As some people here, a miracle has happened in your life. Don't go away. Come and talk to somebody here right now. Don't let the devil put it back. Don't come and talk to somebody here. Tell them. Tell them. Three prayers that you need to pray with the whole of your heart. Blood of Jesus! Speak confusion into the camp of my enemies. In the name of Jesus! Speak confusion into their camp. Jesus, then we pray. Blood of Jesus. Disgrace my disgrace. In the name of Jesus. name we pray. There are 27 persons here. All your life, you have never really had peace. Marriage, turbulence. Business, turbulence. With children, turbulence. You can't really point to a time when you were really happy. 27 persons. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke of the enemy upon your life is broken completely. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. And that's number twenty-seven. Thank you, Jesus. The yoke is broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now shout this loud and clear. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. By the blood of Jesus. By the 
my story must change. <laughs> Open your mouth and declare it. Amen. Let us share the grace of